Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about making Bloxy mobile responsive. Okay, real quick, let's just take a look at how our website would look like if we were on a mobile device. So let's hit uh, F12 here. Anytime, now, there you go. And go on to the mobile device toolbar, Control Shift M. And you can see this is how it looks like if we were to use our website on mobile so okay let's click on one of these and it takes us to the anchor and you can see okay it it squishes it in right and if we were on our tablet you know that's how it would look like and you can see it kind of gets squished to the side a bit and over here that's how it's probably gonna look like on a different tablet and making something mobile responsive is making sure that no matter how wide or how narrow um, the device is, the mobile device, all of our content won't overlap and it won't get messed up on our user's device, which we wouldn't want because we want them to be able to use our website. Okay, so let's go on to the customizer. Um, yeah, let's head over to our customizer and see what, what kind of changes we can make to our site just to ensure that it stays responsive no matter what the device. So let's go on Appearance and then click on Customize and it should take us to the WordPress customizer. Okay, so a few first thing that you want to keep in mind when we're adjusting our site to be mobile responsive is over here these three these three buttons over here you can see we have a desktop screen a computer screen a tablet screen and a smartphone so if you clicked on one of these you can see it uh, changes the um, spacing the as the aspect ratio as well and you can see that on uh, a phone this is what it'll look like so first things first let's go into general and we can click on layout and we have the maximum site width which we can adjust here right um, let's just keep it on default and content area spacing vertical spacing between main content and the header um, it doesn't really do much here and maybe if we went on to our mobile one it doesn't really do anything because our content spacing is just fine um, but how about content edge spacing let's go back to our desktop version over here and you can see that this squishes and if we had it on this uh, one which is our mobile preview as you can see we could squish it or widen it out and if we went back to our desktop one you'll see that this value here is a bit different and you want to space it out maybe a bit more that looks fine and you can see the value is different between the two now we have narrow container max width and a wide alignment uh, offset and that should be fine and these are most of the options that you'll have to deal with or basically the only options that you you can deal with from the WordPress customizer when dealing with uh, mobile and uh, tablet devices and we can probably squish this in more on our tablet and we can publish the changes right other things to be cognizant about are um, our mobile our mobile um, menu over here so we click this um, we can go ahead and click on header and you can see our off canvas menu here um, our mobile menu so we can click on that and we can change up our options but here we can change our vertical spacing um, you can see that on the desktop one it doesn't actually exist because we're on our desktop but if we were on our tablet we might want to have our spacing just as far out as on our smartphone here. You can see it changes the spacing. And you might want to have a wider spacing on your menu items on a mobile device because your users might have fat fingers or they might not have much space to work with if they have a smaller phone. And if you were to space them out, they, they could scroll down, yes, but also they could be sure of which um, button menu item they're clicking, right? And then we can also change the margin um, from side to side. But 
Um, generally on block C, this should be fine. So let's click on publish. And everything else is going to be based on your page editing itself. All right. So let's disable this and let's go to edit page here. But before, uh, while we're letting that load, let's refresh our site. And you can see that immediately our spacing has changed. So let's go on to mobile, right? So right now this is a tablet form factor. And if we squished it together, you can see how far, how much padding it gives our content and everything stays generally in the middle. And when we widen it out, everything again stays pretty fair, pretty consistent. Okay. Okay. So a while ago, you could see our customizer options for adjusting the spacing. And these are just general um, maximum, minimum, maximum widths that we can play with desktop or mobile. But if we needed to take a look at the particular spacing here, let's say on this column here, we can select this column, right? Or all of these columns. And on block C, rather than have all of the margin spacing here in the customizer, it's very dependent content block, um, dependent with this theme. So let's take a look at our spacing here. And you can see that we have column gap, row gap, and if we were to play with these settings, all right, let's revert this to default. And you can see, let's say, for instance, column gap here, we could play with that. And that's going to be our default one for desktop. And for mobile, all right, let's let it load. For mobile, we might want our column gap to be more or less, or it doesn't even matter. So let's go ahead and look at um, our tablets, our, our tablet version over here. And you can see that we can change up our column gap to be much further apart or much closer together. Okay, so basically this applies for everything on our website, whether it's these and then we can click on this in our layout and then we have our columns and then how big the columns are or where we want to align them. So if we were on a smartphone, right, we could align our text to be justified or uh, align left or right. And then if we were on desktop, we could align it in the middle or justify it and it just makes it easier to read right so it really just depends on if there's anything in particular and that, that micro control over all of the elements the spacing of all of the elements within the blocks themselves is actually a very powerful thing okay so let's save it and refresh our site once it's done saving and once we refresh our site here you can see that it's um, pushed down a bit and then when we get closer, you can see that um, for here in particular, you see that it is um, aligned to the right. And then once we get back to um, desktop type spacing, you see it um, spreads out a bit. And then if we were to go back to our desktop page, you can see that's how it looks like right there. Okay, so there's how you make um, Boxy mobile responsive through our customizer options and through our um, block editor options here just by clicking these icons here for desktop, tablet, mobile. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.